Welcome to Mama's Minerals Online. My name is Anne Marie and today we're going to be talking about quartz dynamics. So we're going to start with a basic introduction to quartz. There are many different types of quartz, many different colors of quartz, but today we're going to be focusing on three different colors. Um, the first would be a rose quartz, also known as a pink quartz. The second is a clear quartz, and the third is a smoky quartz. Now, for metaphysical purposes and metaphysical healing purposes, um, the most practical quartz to use is a clear quartz. And the reason for this is because clear quartz is easily programmable, meaning that it's easy to put your own intentions into the quartz um, when doing metaphysical healings. Quartz should always be cleansed prior to use. So cleansing can be composed of many different forms. The first form I recommend is saging. And what you do when you sage is you light a sage stick and you would sweep your sage stick around your quartz. Okay. Another form of cleansing is to leave your stone in the light of the full moon for a full 12 hour period. Another way to cleanse it would be to put it in water and sprinkle it with salt and leave that for 24 hours. Um, this would be to clear the energetic fingerprints of anybody who has touched your quartz. So now let's talk about different shapes that you can use during healing. Um, the first shape, which is the most common shape of quartz, is called single terminated. Single terminated means that one side is flat, um, where it broke off from the original rock, and the top is pointed. Now there are many different points that different metaphysical books suggest for different uses, but for our purposes today we're just going to call this a single terminated quartz. Okay? Um, the second is what's called a double terminated quartz, where you see a point on both sides of the quartz. Okay. The third would be called a quartz cluster, and the fourth is a quartz globe. Okay. So now, when using a single terminated wand, the way the energy moves through this is it's going to move up the base of the quartz and exit through the apex in the form of a flashlight. Okay, so if you can imagine a flashlight beaming its light forth, that's what your energy moving through this stone is going to look like. Okay, so the second stone I'd like to talk about is something called a double terminated wand. This is again a quartz wand. You would do the same as you would with a single terminated wand. The only difference is that the energy in a double terminated wand is moving back and forth between client and healer. Okay, So this is a type of wand that would only be used if you are requiring an energy exchange, not if you desire to give good energy and not receive any back. Okay. This particular wand has been cut and polished. Some people prefer to use cut and polished wands. Some people prefer more natural stones as they believe that natural stones have a natural geometric pattern that is congruent with a person's aura. It's up to the practitioner, whatever you prefer. Um, Mama's Minerals also carries single terminated wands that have been cut and polished. Some people prefer to use these because they um, provide a more consistent form of energy flow. Again, it's up to the metaphysician and what they prefer. So let's move on to a quartz pyramid. A quartz pyramid is very interesting because this is what I would call passive energy flow. You actually don't have to do anything when it comes to the quartz pyramid other than put it on whatever you would like to energize and make sure that light is able to pass through it. 
Now the way that it works is it pulls energy from its surrounding environment down in through its apex into whatever you place it upon. So for instance, if you'd like to energize your jewelry box and energize all the pieces of jewelry that you wear on a daily basis, you could use a quartz pyramid. Also, if you would like to energize someone's crown chakra during a healing, you would be able to use a quartz pyramid. Now, I wouldn't recommend the use of this lightly when doing healings. However, this can be placed anywhere in the home to uplift the environment and energize your environment. Along those lines of energizing your environment is a quartz cluster. A quartz cluster has a very dynamic energy. And the reason for this is because quartz is amplified.